Hey everyone, welcome back with a new lecture with how to calculate measurement uncertainty for microbiological analysis. Measurement uncertainty as defined in your chem guideline is a parameter associated with the final result, with the measurement of the results. That characterizes the dispersion of values, dispersion of values or variability between result that could be attributed to the measurement measurement which is the analyte to be quantified after you will get the final result for the analyte plus minus you will add measurement uncertainty variability between results or many sources affect on the final result at high confidence level confidence level which is most commonly 95 percentage at coverage factor equal to so to calculate measurement uncertainty you should identify at the beginning all sources that may affect on the result of analyte for each analyte during the whole measurement process from sampling up to analysis and get a value this value which is the measurement uncertainty that will compensate all effects on accuracy of the measurement during the analytical measurement and sampling and these effects as i explained in the previous lecture can come due to biological instrumental and personal bias from instruments personal selective media which is very important and has a very high effect on the result environmental conditions and also calibration certificate for equipments that calibrated externally and as defined also in this guideline ISO 19036 and many other guidelines because this definition is inclusive and include also how to calculate measurement uncertainty the lack of accuracy which is the measure for trueness and the precision accuracy how much your measure your uh, your measurement is accurate so this accuracy estimated by estimation of trueness and the precision trueness can be calculated using the bias which is the difference from the true value for microbiology you don't have a true value but for chemical analysis and that will be explained in this lecture can be calculated so trueness using certified reference material and you will make replicate analysis for this certified reference material then you will calculate uncertainty due to bias precision can be estimated also from repeatability and reproducibility and then you will calculate uncertainty due to precision and that will be calculated for my microbiological analysis so the lack of accuracy that can be associated with the results of analysis so accuracy how much your measurement is accurate how much you have a doubt with your measurement analysis so you will calculate uncertainty then this uncertainty will be added to the final result can be associated with the results of analysis and in the context of quantitative mic microbiological you should be highly confident when you count microbial numbers it provides an indication of the degree of confidence that can be placed on lab estimates of microbial numbers in foods or other materials so how much you are confident about microbial numbers that you already count you should be highly confident and after you add the measurement uncertainty to the final result that will compensate all sources of uncertainty on the measurement so after addition of measurement uncertainty you will be highly Confident. And also in ISO IEC guide 98.3, they used a very important reference in quantification of measurement uncertainty by measuring uncertainties from all sources, from each source that may affect the accuracy of the measurement, input quantities. And from these input quantities, sources of uncertainty, you will calculate the measurement uncertainty for each source, then will be combined together to get the overall uncertainty that will be added to the final result. This guide recognized that it might not be possible to establish a mathematical relationship between the measurement, the analyte to be quantified, and the individual input quantities. But after you will identify all individual input quantities, you will calculate the uncertainty from each source, each one of them, and the effect of several of these input quantities can be evaluated as a group. You will combine all of them together. Then you will get at the end one value. This value, as I explained in the beginning of this lecture, a parameter associated 
associated with the final result, which can be standard deviation. This parameter, standard deviation from repeatability or reproducibility, that will be added to the final result. And as I said in the beginning of this training course that I will explain differences between chemistry lab and microbiology lab in calculation of uncertainty. And from the definition of measurement uncertainty, uncertainty the lack of accuracy, which is the measure for trumps and precision. In this lecture, I will explain in chemistry lab. Accuracy, estimated or evaluated by evaluation of trumps and precision. Trumps first, expressed in terms of bias bias which is the difference between reference value and measured value reference value and measured value will give you the deviation from the true or the reference value so you will make replicate analysis replicate analysis for certified reference material certified reference material is a sample containing your target analytes with known concentration and provided by a company which is accredited according to ISO 17034 they have to be accredited according to 17034 to provide you with this sample then you will make replicate analysis from 6 to 10 replicates you will analyze this sample and you will get the result for each one of them and each individual result you will calculate the recovery for each individual result recovery should be within acceptable range how to calculate the recovery as example if you get 7 BBB, the reference value 10 7 8 9 recovery for each one of them should be within acceptable range. Recovery, which is measured or practical value, divided by reference value or true value multiplied 200, should be within acceptable range according to the guideline you use. As example, if you use your chem guideline, you will find from 70 up to 120 percentage, you should be within this acceptable range for each result you will get from 6 to 10. So then you will calculate the average of recoveries, the average of recoveries and average between all of them. The average of recovery also should be within the acceptable range. Then you will calculate the standard deviation between all of these results, standard deviation. And then you will calculate uncertainty which is the standard uncertainty. Standard uncertainty equal to standard deviation divided by square root of n, number of replicates. Then you will calculate uncertainty due to bias. Uncertainty due to bias equal to standard uncertainty divided by average of recoveries multiplied to 100. So you calculate it by this way, uncertainty due to bias. And for precision, precision estimated from repeatability and reproducibility. Two types of evaluation in this case. There are two types of evaluation. Type A and type B. Type A evaluation, you will get uncertainty from repeatability and reproducibility. Replicate analysis of samples spied with known concentration of your target analytes at different levels. These levels should cover the range of concentrations specified for the target analyte. And I will explain this in details. Type B evaluation from calibration certificates for equipments externally calibrated. Any equipment used during the procedure, the whole measurement process, and this equipment will be calibrated externally, they will provide you with the certificate. Calibration certificate including measurement uncertainty. This measurement uncertainty also will be taken and calculated and added to the combined uncertainty. And to clarify type A evaluation, type A evaluation from repeatability and and reproducibility, replicate analysis for samples spot with known concentration of target analytes at different levels covering the whole range of specified analyte, specified target analyte. For target analyte, maximum residue limit as specified in the guideline equal to or specification limit or acceptance limit equal to 100 microgram per liter. After this, after 100 micro, microgram per liter will be rejected in the sample. So you will select different levels. As example, low level, mid level, and high level. Low level, you can start from 10 microgram per liter. Mid level, 50 microgram per liter. High level, high, higher than this concentration, so 200 microgram per liter. From low level, you will sample, you will prepare samples, 
spiked from 6 to 10 replicate also uh, sample spiked with 10 microgram per liter and the image level 6 to 10 replicate spiked with 50 microgram per liter and also here then you will calculate the average for each level this is the repeatability on the same day average standard deviation and also relative standard deviation relative standard deviation equal to standard deviation divided by the average multiplied 200 and the result should be less than 20 percentage according to the guideline used maybe if you use another guideline you can find another relative standard deviation so you will follow the guideline used and for mid level you will do the same repeatability and high level same but for all of them you should calculate the reproducibility standard deviation the reproducibility standard deviation it will be between all of them pooled relative standard deviation and from pooling of variances between all of these three levels you will get standard deviation of reproducibility pooled relative standard deviation equal to square root of relative standard deviation one from the low level square multiplied to n1 minus one number of replicates from six to ten replicates all of replicates should be same if you run 10 it will be 10 for other levels also Multi plus relative standard deviation from the mid level square multiplied to n2 minus 1 from the, for the high level and divided by and you can increase if you want the number of levels uh, divided by degree of freedom for each level n1 minus 1 plus n2 minus 1 plus n3 minus 1 plus whatever you did so you will get the standard deviation due to reproducibility so from true miss you will get uncertainty due to bias and from precision you will get uncertainty due to precision by pulling the variances between different levels so pulled relative standard deviation will be added to the combined uncertainty and also uncertainty due to bias will be added to the combined uncertainty to get after that the overall uncertainty and for type b evaluation you can use or not because that will uh, will be calculated from the calibration certificates provided for the uh, any equipment externally calibrated and all of these equipments used also in repeatability and reproducibility so you can only use pooled relative standard deviation or you can calculate type b evaluation all of them all of these uncertainties will be added to the combined uncertainty to get at the end the expanded uncertainty or overall uncertainty that will be added to the final result that was in chemistry lab in the next lecture, I will explain in microbiology, in microbiology lab. Thank you and see you in the next lecture.